In California's U.S. Senate race, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff is running against former baseball star Republican Steve Garvey. But it's actually former President Donald Trump who's been putting this race in the spotlight in recent weeks by going after Congressman Schiff in interviews and on social media. Most recently, he called Congressman Schiff and others, quote, enemies from within and suggested if he's elected president, he might use the military to deal with those enemies. I recently spoke with Congressman Schiff about a range of issues, starting with the former president's threats. Well, I think we should all take seriously when a presidential candidate says he wants to call out the military to go after his domestic political opponents. Uh, that's the language you hear from would-be dictators. Uh, and it comes during the same week when his former chief of staff, General Kelly, uh, has described him praising Hitler when the former chair chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, has said that he sort of meets the textbook definition of an authoritarian or a fascist. You can't ignore those warning signs. So I take them seriously. Uh, it does underscore just how much our democracy is on the ballot. You know, he has argued that he should be elected to keep you in check. Uh, you led the first impeachment trial against him, served on the January 6th committee. Uh, to what degree is your campaign looking at somewhat of the same message that people should elect you as a U.S. senator to keep him in check if he is elected president? Well, I would say the relevance is this. Uh, Donald Trump had too many enablers in the Congress of the United States when he was president, too many people willing to uh, do whatever he wanted them to do, uh, violate their constitutional oath um, and uh, tear down the guardrails of our democracy. We don't want more enablers of that kind of behavior and conduct in Congress. We need people that are willing to stand up to a bully, willing to defend our institutions. Uh, let's talk about if Kamala Harris is elected president. She has said that she would revive the immigration bill that died in Congress earlier this year. Is that something that you would help move through the U.S. Senate? I would want to see that uh, broadened to include uh, not just the enforcement measures at the border, which are important, but also relief for the dreamers. Uh, I want to make sure that there's a pathway to citizenship uh, for farm workers and others, millions of people who have been in this country for years. So it should be broader than just an enforcement bill. What would you do in the U.S. Senate that we would feel here in Sacramento lowering the cost of housing? This is the number one issue uh, throughout the state. Uh, rent increases are as high in rural areas uh, as in urban and suburban areas. People can't find a home they can buy. They can't, can't afford it. Uh, and it's a supply problem at its uh, essence, and that is we need to build hundreds and hundreds of thousands of new units of housing in California. We really need to do that ASAP. At the federal level, we can help dramatically by uh, massively expanding the low-income housing tax credit to incentivize developers to build housing and build housing that's affordable. We also need to incentivize local governments to get to yes on approvals much more quickly. So obviously the, the cost of housing and the limits on housing and homelessness are twin crises in our state. A similar question on homelessness, what can you do in the U.S. Senate that we would see on the streets of Sacramento and Stockton and Modesto? Well, the, the challenge with homelessness is you can spend billions as we have to move people off the street and into shelter. But if you don't do something about the overall scarcity of housing, new people are simply going to take their place on the sidewalk. So contemporaneously to moving people into shelter, getting them the mental health services they need, the substance abuse services they need, we also need to be building that housing. We have to approach it from both points of view. We do have 5 million, more than 5 million Republicans in California. How would you convince them that you would also be looking out for their interests? Well, I intend to represent aggressively every part of the state and everyone in the state. I don't care whether it's a red area, a blue area, or a purplish area, it doesn't matter. Everyone is entitled to strong representation. Uh, and on the issues that I find people most concerned about, that is bringing down the cost of living, building more housing, bringing down the cost of childcare, um, those problems are very nonpartisan, bipartisan. I'm gonna work across the aisle to bring about solutions 
I also put together a profile story before the primary election with more on Congressman Schiff's background. And if you missed my interview with Republican Senate candidate Steve Garvey, which aired last night, that is posted right now on KCRA.com.